Uh, thank you. Some little cheering from the room. Uh, <laughs> it's always good to pander to the audience and, and what an amazing audience this is, right? So we have folks from around the world joining us. Uh, I think we had over 900 uh, people register for this, uh, 30 different countries. And in the room, we've got a great crowd of large companies, small companies, uh, startups, and uh, just a, a really great crowd. So we've got a tight schedule today. We're going to be covering a lot of ground, but we also wanna make sure this is participatory. So there'll be plenty of chances to ask questions and raise points. To kick things off, we're very excited to have Eric Goldstein. Uh, so CISA is the Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency, uh, and Eric is the cybersecurity part. Uh, so he's going to be he's on the road at a different event, but he's going to be joining us hopefully right around now to uh, welcome us. Q transition, yes. And while that's happening, one thing, we'll do a little more of an intro before that, but for everyone in the room uh, and everyone watching, this is going to be recorded uh, with one exception, which we'll talk about. Uh, so we're excited to have you here, but just be aware that this is going to be recorded. All right, give us one moment for that transition. Uh, and while that's happening, uh, we might invite uh, you know to come up and give us a very quick welcome uh, from uh, USC, who is hosting this event. So while we're getting Eric sorted, let's have a welcome from uh, the USC uh, Computer Science Department, one of the best in the country. We're very excited to have uh, the chair of that department hosting us. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, welcome, everybody. I was here maybe about three weeks ago for a uh, one of the many graduation ceremonies. So this is uh, a venue that's near and dear to me. Uh, my name is Nino Medvedovic. I am uh, the department chair of the computer science at USC. Uh, it's uh, an honor and a privilege to host you here. This is an incredibly exciting time for CS at USC. About a month and a half ago, our uh, president announced a billion dollar initiative on frontiers of computing. And as part of that initiative, uh, the CS department is going to be a uh, key piece of the new School of Computing, School of Advanced Computing, rather. Uh, we're really excited about what that actually means. Um, and uh, one of the things that, uh, one of the areas that has been a significant focus for us uh, over the years, and it's going to be even more so going forward, uh, is uh, cybersecurity. So I'm uh, very pleased to have everybody here, and I'm looking forward to learning a lot today. So uh, welcome again. Sorry that we didn't bring out the sunshine. Maybe it'll get better during the day. Um, and then for everybody else uh, online, uh, glad to have you here. Thank you. Alan, Derek, can I get a, a quick audience? Fantastic, and, and I've already told uh, the, the good professor that uh, Sis is very excited to hire some of his students. So uh, always good to have a plug for our workforce side of things. Um, let me check back in with the team. We're good to go. Okay, awesome. so uh, ladies and gentlemen, Eric Goldstein, Executive Assistant Director of CISA. Awesome, thanks Alan. Can I get a quick thumbs up from somebody out the there? Audio. Can audio? One. <laughs> Ooh. All right. All right. I see some. I see some hands raised. So that give us like one moment, audio. Eric. We're getting audio. you uh, audio. Okay. Audio good. I'm getting comments saying I'm I'm audio good it's virtually. All right. We. Uh, the joy of making the sausages in real time. Indeed. Looks like I got audio virtually. Perhaps not audio in the room. We have audio in the room for you. Look at Thank that. You, sir. Two for two, fifth tries a charm. Um, thanks, thanks, Alan, uh, for for every uh, for your leadership. Thanks everybody uh, for being there. I am I am crestfallen uh, to not uh, be there uh, in person. I, I'm at a uh, a CISO conference in New York City at the moment, where I was also uh, doing remarks this morning, emphasizing the criticality of this work and a and a shout out for uh, the S Bomberama happening today. Um, first of all, just thanks to to the USC team, uh, to the RIT teams uh, for your 
help and support in making all of this happen. Um, even with our awesome team at CISA and the broader community, uh, we couldn't have done it uh, without both of you. Uh, and I'll also call out, uh, in addition to the esteemed Dr. Friedman, uh, our, our colleagues, uh, Justin and Will uh, from Team CISA uh, for your work in making this happen. Um, this is a really important event. Um, we've all been talking about the criticality of software transparency, the importance of SBOMs um, for a few years now. Um, and I think Alan and all of you deserve a lot of credit for really moving SBOMs, uh, as one of my favorite academic articles put it, uh, from, from off the wall to on the wall, uh, where instead of being an esoteric topic uh, talked about in some distant corners of uh, the technology landscape, it is now something that is widely understood to be foundational to our shared security, that of our enterprises, that of our countries. Um, but we need to keep the gas pedal down and the work that all of you, you are doing is essential to achieving that goal, right? We cannot live in a world where we don't have trust and confidence in the software that is running every single one of the functions upon which we, our families, our communities, our countries rely on every single day. Our hospitals, our financial systems, our energy grid, our governments, all of it, of course, runs on software. And if we don't have confidence and transparency into that software, then we can't have confidence and trust in the critical functions upon which we all depend. And that very simply is the stakes that all of us are working with as we engage in this work and as we drive forward the future of SBOMs. Um, I will just note we are really excited in CISA to be driving some real focus in the community on secure by design and secure by default. And SBOM is a critical pillar, a foundation of a world that is safe and secure by design. We can, there is no world in which a technology product can be considered safe, secure, and trusted unless there is visibility and transparency into the underlying packages, components, libraries that comprise it. And so we all agree, I think, in the community that um, moving toward a world where the products that we are using are safe and secure by design and default purposes for which they're intended, and SBOMs are a key path to get there. So thank you for all the work you are doing. Uh, thank you for, um, for your leadership. It has been awesome to watch this community grow. And we have a real opportunity over the next year, I think. We are seeing increasing international consensus across our partners in Europe, across the Asia Pacific. I know we have many colleagues joining here today um, to really imbue SBOMs into the fabric of how we think about require, build, design technology. Um, certainly on the U.S. government side, we are pushing both through federal procurement levers. I know you'll hear uh, from my colleague, Sean, uh, in a bit, uh, both federal procurement levers, but also using our bully pulpit and bringing across sectors to, to, ampl to amplify the criticality of this work and the fact that there is no secure future without SBOMs. Um, and we have to create that future. The work you have, have all been doing has gotten us to this point and the work you'll do today will take us the next step forward. So it is a, pl it is a pleasure and a privilege uh, to join you all today, to partner with all of you. Thank you for the work that you're doing and look forward to working with all of you as we catalyze further progress. Thanks so much. Thanks, Eric. Thank you so much, Eric, uh, for your support in pushing this and making sure this is still, a, remains a priority uh, for the CISA team and making sure that we can partner with all of you as you make this a reality.